Hey everyone and welcome. Today I will show you an interesting machine which uh, I have uh, invented. I don't know if anyone has found it out before me or not. Possibly yes, because it's quite straightforward. But uh, I didn't copy it from anyone. And uh, I will tell you what is it about, show you how to build it. And, uh, and I hope you will find it useful and enjoy it. So this is it, what uh, is in front of me. We are in a creative world at the moment. This is basically a fully automatic wheat producer, wheat farm, you can say, or wheat uh, harvest, uh, wheat grower. What you do is that you put uh, some seeds in your hand, fill up the dispensers with bone meal. There is three. There are three dispensers here. You stay here in the entrance. Look down and hold the right mouse button. You can see that you don't need to do anything at all. Just stay and hold the right mouse button. And the wheat is automatically... Pl uh, you plant the wheat because it is cannot be automatized. And uh, the dispensers shoot out the bone meal which makes it go fast. And after the piston moves the block, so it is automatically harvested and your character actually picks it up. So this is the machine, how it works, and let's look at how actually it is made. The entire machine is based around a bus switch. If you are new to the redstone mechanics, then this uh, means block update detector, BUD. And it is basically a way to detect a block updates in the game. Block update is, for example, when the wheat is placed in this block, or when the wheat is growing, uh, or anything like that. This is done by by powering a piston, which is this piston over here. This is a piston diagonally, and after after this piston, we will kind of detect all kind of block updates around it. I mean, all neighboring blocks. If it has an update, then the piston will extend and after retract. So this is what ha is happening here. That when you place this uh, these seeds on the on this on this block, then this is a block update, which uh, makes the piston extend. The p extended piston sends out the pars, and this pars does three, th uh, four things actually. First, first three is that it uh, it uh, it makes the three dispensers shoot out bone meal, and the fourth one is that it makes this piston, which is below the block uh, under the question, retract and after extend again. This is good for basically harv I mean for uh, for uh, uh, harvesting the wheat. And uh, don't worry about the bone meal. Only as many bone meal is used as, as it is necessary. Uh, if uh, if it is already, I mean, it's possible that that the two bone meal will grow uh, wheat completely. In that case, the third bone meal won't be used. However, uh, sometimes it's, it takes three bone meals. This is the maximum. This is why there is there are three dispensers here, so you can uh, make sure that it, that it will work if you fill up all three dispensers with bone meal. Let's see how it is built. First of all, I use sandstone for the for the front. You can uh, you can see it doesn't have a very big footprint, so you can you can compress it into a into a five uh, five wide building, including the walls. If you erect here walls, then you can you can make everything hidden basically nice and uh, easy. And it will be the length of it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, including the the walls seven long and five wide and then everything is covered up and the height is is four including the walls one more here because there is here or actually no you, if you want to cover this this block of redstone then it's uh, it's one more it's then five anyway the point is how do we build it first of all we find for it a suitable location the first thing to do is is to is to or organize the three uh, dispensers. As you can see, there is two on the sides. One, two, and one up above. Yeah. And then there is one piston here down, a sticky piston, which is actually uh, one more down. And the sticky piston has 
a block of dirt on it. Sorry for the birds. I have a couple of parrots and they sometimes are noisy. So I see keep it in a block of dirt on it. There has to be somewhere a block of uh, a block of water, a uh, source block of water around uh, four, four within four uh, blocks away from this uh, from this block here. So to to keep the the soil uh, what is it uh, hydrated. So I put it for example here, but uh, it can actually be moved maybe to a better location. Now uh, we will put the piston which actually will detect the block updates like this. We will use a block for, let's make it sandstone, for example, something which will actually send out the parses. There will be one redstone torch right below it, just like how we do it here. You can see there is redstone torch right below this block here. So when this uh, when this uh, piston will extend, then a pulse, and after retract, then it will uh, generate a pulse. Actually, there is here a redstone, and you have to you have to come down actually until here with the three repeaters. Now this one, don't ask me why, but I was trying a lot around. Uh, the only only uh, setup which works is if you put two repeaters for two, two, two ticks delay and one repeater for one tick delay. This uh, should add up to five tick delay, but if you do it in another, any other combination, let's say for example a four and a one tick delays, it won't work. If you here if you here uh, remove one dispenser and then put into five uh, delay in total, four and one, then you can try, but. I've tried a lot of times and it simply just doesn't work. Let's let's let me show you. You see? It doesn't doesn't work, doesn't uh, retract uh, this piston doesn't retract. I don't know why it's happening, but the uh, point is that you have to have three repeaters and two one of it has to have uh, two of it has to have two tick delays and one of it has to have one tick delay and this is uh, the working combination if you now come back here if we were just now we are out of uh, out of bone meal so this is why it doesn't grow but anyway this this is this is working i can show you just one moment this is what we, what we are doing yes you see so you need three repeaters two on two ticks delay and one on one tick delay then you are bringing bringing the redstone just like this there is a repeater here just uh, to to save some space. Repeater, redstone, redstone. Like this. You need to power the block of this, this piston uh, diagonally. It means like this. Oops. Like this. And this one actually requires one more block so that it can come up nicely. You can see this is the way how I found it is the most compact way to uh, figure out. So you come here and here come up, power the piston diagonally. So this now it should function as a block update detector. You, if you place a block at adjacent to it, it will extend and then retract. And now there is only one more thing left, is you have to power the three dispensers. So it, I found it that the best way for it is uh, do it in a way like this. So there is, as you can see, there is uh, one on top, one block on top of the top dispenser, and one block on the top of the of this dispenser. You see, am I doing it correctly? I think, I think it's like this, and like this, right? Yes, I think right. Now let's try it. No, I actually, it's maybe I'm not doing it correctly because you can see that, uh, that the, uh, this one. 
Oh, something is, is, is not good here. Let me see again the... Yes. Here we come down. Repeater. Going down. For some reason it doesn't... Doesn't work well. I think maybe this is the problem here. Let me try it like this. Ah, this was the problem. Right. Okay. So. Let me till this soil here. And after you have to just fill up the dispensers with bone meal. Bring some seeds. Stand here. And harvest the seed, uh, harvest the wheat. As you can see, it works perfectly. You can stand here at only. You can even do it AFK if you press, put something on top of the, I mean, on, the, on your mouse right, right button. It's very convenient. And uh, as you can see by the diamonds which I mentioned, you can completely make it en encased. So it's not a very big, very big uh, uh, contraption. Okay, so thank you for for uh, watching this tutorial. Please, if you like it, uh, leave uh, constructive feedback, comment, possibly subscribe for more and uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you later.